Very much. Good in, please. First of all, um, I don't know how it could be a bigger honor, you know, to be your governor. You know, our, our mayor just said, and to be in the midst of heroes, and you are that. You see, I have no notes. All I can do is speak the truth and speak from my heart. You know, I have been blessed in many ways. One was the selection of our Secretary of Military Affairs, or Veterans Affairs, and, and having the opportunity to work with Dennis Davis. He's a great man, and he's doing a great job. And I'm really, really proud of the job he's doing for us, too. The other things I think about as I just sat there was just this, is, you know, I grew up in Beckley. You know, I played ball with Rob. You know, I played Little League right over the hill. Believe it or not, I played in the first basketball game ever played in the Raleigh County Armory. Actually, I was playing for the Crescent Chipmunks. <laughs> And we were playing Central in the game before the Woodrow game, and we lost. It was the county's championship game. Thank goodness I was just a fifth grader because we won it when I was a sixth grader. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, I think about walking in the door back here, and this wonderful veteran mentioned my dad. You know, my best man in my wedding, we lost him... Uh, a really peculiar thing, peculiar. He was uh, on his way home, stopped off at Duke to just get a checkup and ended up getting pneumonia from somebody in the hospital and then got a bacterial infection, infection, infection and they couldn't stop it. 68 years old. Was a captain in World War II. You know, a lot of times as a kid I would ask Dad about his military service and he, he never had much to say. And the reason he didn't, and I'm sure you guys and, and ladies are in a lot of ways the same. You know, there was moments of great pride and camaraderie, and there was moments that still bothered him today, if he were still around today. So I miss him, and I have the opportunity to be here and watch this beautiful lady sing a national anthem. And I think about a great friend that we just lost just a few months ago and you know Don Bull Parker and he used to sing our national anthem with the same furor and pride that this great lady just sang today we have so much to be blessed for and so much to be thankful for and this place right here it's been way too long that's all there is to it but there's been so many licks that have happened to make it a reality. Another thing we were able to do, and again, no one will take this away from me. We were able in West Virginia, in just the last little short time, to exempt your retirements. To exempt your retirements from state income tax. What will that do? Sure, it'll help you in lots of ways. But it'll bring more vets here to us. You know, again, I can never, I am not a politician. I am just somebody that speaks the truth. I became your governor for one reason and one reason alone, and that was to help West Virginians. I truly mean this when I say this, and I'll end with this. We owe everything in our lives to you. Everything to you. We should absolutely step up to the plate every day in any way, shape, form, or fashion to help you. I stood in a veteran, with a bunch of veterans in Barbersville, and I said, what can I do? What can I do? What would you want me to do? And Woody Williams stood up and said one thing. We just want one thing, and that is we want our retirement exempted. One thing. I said, I turned to our people and I said, what would that cost the state of West Virginia? It was like $2.7 million. Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? You want one thing? I mean, one thing that is a grain of sand 
compared to the monies that we spend. You've done so much. You ask so little. I am so proud. And I mean this in all, in every way, shape, form, or fashion. God bless you. Thank you for having me.